Okay, it's Tennis Homework. Your title is Earth's Major Spheres. There's actually four Earth's spheres. Major spheres. The first one that we're going to talk about is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is all the gases that are above Earth's surface. So we're actually looking at a picture of the atmosphere on the edge of the Earth. So here is the edge of the clouds. The atmosphere goes up out into space. And you can see the change in color. That is because the further away you get from Earth, the less dense the gases are. The atmosphere is important because it provides protect protection from the sun and also we depend on that, the oxygen and the air to breathe. Uh, we'll spend a lot of time in the atmosphere when we talk about weather, the weather patterns. So make sure you've written down Earth's gases above the Earth's surface that extend out into space. The next layer is the hydrosphere that is all the water on the earth so lakes rivers oceans glaciers streams all of that you see in our picture we also have some of that in our picture we have some oceans So not much to write about those two. The next layer that we're going to talk about is the geosphere. Geosphere. Geo is Latin for rock or earth. It means the same thing in Latin. There is no distinction between rock and earth. They mean the same thing. Uh, there are three layers. What I want you to draw next to your notes on a geosphere, I want you to draw a nice big circle. I will draw it as well. Here's our Earth. This is the core. The core is broken up into the inner core and the outer core. The inner core is the hottest but it is solid. We'll talk about that in a minute. The outer core is next hottest and it is liquid, as you would expect. So there, there's the core. And it's broken, the mantle is broken into the upper and the lower. This is the lower. Lower mantle, and we'll color one more time. The upper. Which doesn't leave much left of our Earth. The last thing that's left is the crust. The crust is two pieces, oceanic crust and continental crust. And it is very thin. Just the pencil lead is actually thicker than what the crust would be under drawing. So that's your crust.
Okay, we're gonna move on. The inner core is actually really important because it is full of iron. And because that iron is spinning from when the Earth still formed, it creates a magnetic field that protects us from solar radiation. Uh, we can see that solar radiation here, um, the northern lights, okay, so if it wasn't for this spinning Earth, or spinning center of the Earth, we would look like Mars, which would not be good because we would not be alive. Now, talking about the why the inner core is solid, is because of all the pressure. So I'm going to pull up a diagram to help understand pressure. So here, here's pressure. This is a pressure gauge. All right. So we have a certain amount of pressure in the atmosphere. And the further you go down into Earth, we're going to use uh, water as an example. So the further we go down into the Earth, you can see the numbers change. So as we go deeper and deeper and deeper, pressure gets higher and higher and higher. Well, this is in water. And you can imagine in the Earth, it's going to be a lot higher pressure. Such a great pressure that we can actually change phases. This is a phase diagram. So if we start with, uh, this is a rock, what we're using as an example, phase diagrams are generally all the same. We start with uh, something the temperature of 250 degrees. Now the inside of the Earth is a lot hotter than that. But if we take it and we increase the pressure, you can see over here the pressure is increasing. If we increase the pressure, we'll start out as a gas. If you keep going, without changing temperature even, you will turn into a liquid. That's a phase change. If we keep going further and further, eventually, with enough pressure, we'll become a solid. And that's why the center of the Earth is a solid and not a liquid, even though it is extremely hot. So hopefully you can answer those questions. Why is it solid? Why? And the last sphere is the biosphere. The biosphere is all living things on Earth. All living things. So the grass, the tree, the beautiful wheat field. Alright, hopefully you got that in your notes. Now we're going to have a quick little quiz yourself. So, I want you to try to name where the sphere belongs. Take a minute. Which of the four spheres? What about this one? What sphere does it belong to? That's a glacier, in case you didn't know.